National Educator. Hello, Lana. My name is Teacher Stephen Kiamba, and I'm taking you through a business studies lesson in Form 4. Our topic today is public finance, and we shall be looking at public debt. Welcome. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to explain the meaning and categories of public debt. Now, in our previous lesson, we looked at the components of public finance and the public debt was one of them. And today we want to look at public debt exhaustively on what it means and how the government borrows, as well as the principles that guide government on how it borrows. Now, public debt refers to all outstanding borrowing by the central government, local authorities, and government corporations. The government borrows when public revenue is insufficient to meet all its financial obligations. What we are saying here is, the government has a mandate to carry out particular activities, to provide essential goods and services to the citizens. And when the government makes its budget, sometimes the income which the government has raised or collected may not be enough to finance all the budget. Therefore, the government goes ahead to borrow in order to fill up the gap in the budget. That is what we mean by deficit in the budget, or rather, when the incomes are insufficient. Now, public debt is government borrowing, and it is also called the national debt. Why do we call it national debt? Because it is a debt of the country, or rather the nation, and not of a particular individual. Let us look at the chart below, the chart on our screen, which is showing us the sources of public debt, or rather from where does the government borrow from? On the first circle, the two smaller circles, we have one which is green in color and another one which is red in color. The one in green is showing us internal borrowing, the one in red, external borrowing. Then, all that borrowing put together gives us what we call public debt. Now, Lana, let us look at each of these two sources of debt. We have the first one, which is internal borrowing. Internal borrowing refers to borrowing by the government from farms and individuals within the country. Yes, you may ask yourself, does the government really borrow from individuals? Yes. I am going to show you how the government will borrow from individuals as well as other farms or organizations within the country. Lana, the most important thing to take note of at this particular time is that internal borrowing is limited to the boundaries of the country. That means it is only the people 
within that country or the businesses or farms or organization within that country that lend to the government that will make the internal borrowing.